Hello guys, welcome to System Test 13 of the Apollo Addressable House System. There's been a lot of changes to the system, so I'm going to show you guys those, those changes. So, first change we have is a call point change, and we now have a discovery call point. Uh, there used to be an XP95 call point in System Test 12, and now this is a discovery call point. As you can see, it just polled. You can see the poll. There you go. Uh, the tangent call point is still the same, and we have a sounder change in here as well. There used to be an XP95 sounder beacon, but it's now been replaced with a discovery sounder base, and you should be able to see the sounder base poll. There you go. So this is a discovery sounder base, which is pretty cool. I've never had a discovery sounder before, so uh, yeah, which is really cool. I do like these a lot. And then we've got a detector, cha uh, detector change, there used to be a beacon here and we now have an XP95 ionisation detector which is Chubb branded as you can see, so I've got a Chubb detector, uh, it's Chubb branded and it's an ionisation, you can see there's a red LED which means it's ionisation and then finally uh, the beacon is just over here now so it's been added onto the system and it's just on the shelf there, as you can see. Yeah, that's pretty much all the changes. So, And the Discovery Sounder Base is on a quieter volume, I think, and it's on the Apollo tone. So, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same, I think. Um, I think, uh, I'm not sure of as well, we've got the, uh, these two Discovery Detectors as well. I'm not sure if these were in the last system test, and then the XP95 Heat Detector. So, yeah, that's basically all the changes. So we'll start by testing the discovery call point. So let's go ahead and give that a test. So in three, two, one. So there we go, and that's in bedroom area zone 1. Uh, discovery sounders don't tone a hold which is a shame but they do sound really nice so I do like them a lot. So let's go ahead and reset the panel and then we'll test the intelligent core point and then I think we might test the uh, X95 ionization detector so let's go ahead and uh, reset the core point. There we go, and reset the panel, so there we go, and the LED should come out in a second, there we go, and let's go ahead and test the intelligent call point. I don't know why I pressed reset then. I meant to press silent sounders because it's not been reset yet. Uh, so it's going to go back off again. So I'll just hit silence on that again. There we go. Let's reset the call point. And press reset on the panel. There we go. So we're going to test the X25 Chubb branded ionization detector. So we'll go and give that a test. Uh, also, I do have some more Chubb branded detectors. I have some XP95 uh, Chubb branded devices, as you can see. 
and uh, discovery devices. This one's just a discovery one. So I have a few of these uh, discovery and X95 chub branded detectors. So I will eventually put those on the system to replace the standard ones, just to make it the system a bit more interesting with chub devices. So yeah. Let's test the XP95 ionization detector. I'm not sure how long it will take to activate. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Uh, I may change the sensitivity of it as well. So let's give it a test. So hopefully that should do it. Let's see if it goes off. It might need a bit more smoke. Just give it time, a bit more smoke, I think. There we go. Got pre alarm. There we go. There we go. So I'll probably let that sit for a bit because the analog value might be too high. But yeah, you can see the LED there, it's uh, very faint, but uh, there you go. And that will, that's going to be it for this system test. And uh, hopefully next system test I'll test the expander core point. And we'll test some more wired devices, test probably uh, these, two, these three detectors in the next test. So that's going to be it for the system test. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and please sure to like, comment, subscribe on videos, this will really help. And I shall see you in the next system test. Goodbye everyone.